there's a pinprick and you feel as blood is being taken. Thank you. You may enter. Okay. I walk forward. You walk forward and the shimmering stops as the one that has not faced you slams his weapon on the ground and the shimmering stops and you walk in and then shimmering happens again. And then you watch as the other one looks towards you, Cindric, and says, State your name. Cindric. State your race. Dragonborn. Place your hand. I do. There's another pinprick. He gets Does some blood. Does it my AC? You're placing your hand on it, so yes. <laughs> <I have> scales. <laughs> it's, I'm not wearing armor. It's just that's my AC is my skin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and... Okay, just making sure they have it really gets good. Through. They have really good needles. Yes, yes, they do. Uh, and then he says, "Thank you." And that then he finally time. turns and slams his weapon on the ground, and the shimmering stops, and you walk in. Please try to be nice to whoever's in here, Cendric. I am trying to be nice to most people. And Rob tries to steal something. Hello! No, no, you Are don't. you going no, no, to steal no, 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 something? No, 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 you missed the part where we saw a thief's head just get yeah, cut places. clean off. Like they, like, they gotta catch me first. No, 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 no. <laughs> this, this was simply a, a this was a little kid. child running for his life, and they just and head one off. clean swipe just gone. Yeah, still though, still don't. though. Oh God, no! <laughs> right, no, it's, we it's already passed. We, we left. Scared. We left him with gold. That that yeah, is he's gold's gold. problem. Because we split up. Because you guys want to. doesn't trust the party. Right. <clears throat> it was just easier, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's always much <laughs> easier to kill us if we split up. That yes, is true. Always split the party. Well, no, you missed the fact that they just wanted to walk into a fucking palace. And well, the guy we, said, hey, I'll set it up for you. We want to talk to who's in charge, so we went to the palace. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense, in. doesn't it? No. I mean, yeah. I don't see how that doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense. All right, so Nobody continue on. Huh? Do you want to skip? Uh, oh, quick recap for Raba? Okay. Uh, so we got into it with the old man a little bit over the golem. We told him that the wand is what let us find the golem and handed it to him, and he just like instant destructioned it in his hand because oh. that's just a thing he can do. Uh, we went inside the door. turned out to be his office. Uh, we saw a cool space thing. We saw a book with lots of good deeds in it. I found the sphere I, where the dragons went. Yes, you oh. found the sphere where the dragons went. So now you know about different planets, too. Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of had an idea about that before, but I actually now have the name of the place they went to. Well, yes. we kind of just... We, we kind of... <laughs> yeah. We, we also had dragons just, went we, to dragons. Yeah, amazingly, the dragons went to a place called Dragon. But yeah, we but haven't... We, we kind of just kn knew that people that they went to the sky. We didn't actually knew that. Oh, just just wait until you hear the latter part where we are now. <laughs> yeah, just wait. Uh, there was okay. a book full of all kinds of good deeds and all kinds of good deeds that would be done or could be done. They just kept being written and written like it never ended. Uh, that the wizard put into his pocket. He also had a psi crystal, which we know is a psi crystal, but don't know what a psi crystal is. It's magic. Yeah, okay. It's not magic and powerful. Uh, I got a flag and a slow cooker. And Did he give you the slow cooker? Yeah, he said I could have it. Oh, That's why I asked him. I was like, is there anything else around here that you know you don't need that you want cleared out? <laughs> you know, I'll take whatever you want off your hands. And he was like, yeah, sure, the flag. Like okay, cool. I can um, live with that. <laughs> we then found out that the people he wanted cleared out were in the basement, so we went down to the basement, opened the door to the basement, and it's a portal to a dock. With no, it's not dozens. a portal. It's not a portal. Well, it's not a. Well, yeah, it's not a portal. It opens up into a dock. 
and a city. City, dozens and dozens of spell jamming ships docked there. But oh, it's actually right. on this world. In his basement. His sphere, it's just in his basement. It's just there. And how they get there, I don't know. It's, but the sky, there, the sky there is an illusion. They have really good apples. That Dude, are this free. is some Rick and Morty shit. We, yes. we, the, the apple salesmen are all me seeks. Yes, they are. It's <laughs> wicked. I, I, I don't know. I set fire to one's apple. Uh, we proceeded into the city. We figured out where the docks were. Um, we walked to the docks. We discovered that there are clockwork guards guarding this place, they and that if you break the, yeah, and if you break the law, they just kill you. Like there is no, there is That's no like kill the innocence. You're just you're just dead. Yeah. They, they, didn't um, even, they didn't even prove that he broke the law. The kid was running. Yeah. They they someone shouted thief. They cut his head off. Yes. So, huh. at that point, we proceeded to the docks, asked to talk to who was in charge. The dock master said, if you pay me 500 gold, I'll arrange a meeting. We said, no, thank you. We, because he told us the race of the people that the leaders were. So, we left. We talked to a merchant. He said that he didn't deal with the higher-ups and uh, that the dock master would be the person to talk to. And since we already talked to him, that's where the part split, because we're like, well, the leader's probably in the big palace, so we should just go to the big palace. Uh-huh. Instead and, of paying him 50 flat. Yeah, and Ghoul disagreed, so we split up. And so we decided that you would stay with Ghoul, because we didn't want you with us. What I uh, make great company in Royal. But you, you could have come with us if you want. No, 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 that's right. I, no, I that's hang back with the uh, goal. That's not enough. And I think, yeah, I think I. To be fair, we wanted everybody to go to the palace. True. But uh, we got into the palace, and that's where we are now. All right. Cool. Unless I go missed ahead. something. I don't think I missed anything, did I? You also said you'd come bearing gifts for him. Oh, yeah, and I have gifts to give, <laughs> which A are worth far cooking. more than fifty plat. So enjoy. <laughs> I, I, I mean, how it. how did you it's think that you that were going I'm to get the, everybody using. to leave? If it's stuff that I'm not using, that's fine. I didn't say what kind of oh, gifts I was going away. to give. I just said that I, I'm bearing gifts. I could give him the spice as a gift. I could give him the bags full of drugs as a gift. I could. That's a great gift. You should do that. All kinds of things that we can give these people as gifts. I could cook for them as a gift. Yeah, you could. I, I I'm you sorry. should give them drugs. <laughs> I I did not state that I was going to give them a gift equal to blah 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 platinum pieces because I'm not retarded. Uh, <laughs> so you guys walk into the palace. Yeah, uh, you go up a flight of stairs, like a huge, big thing of stairs, up. Uh, surrounding you with uh, a number of what appears to be statues of gargoyles, or real gargoyles, you're not sure. Uh, probably real gargoyles, though. Uh, and you walk up, and as you get to the door, the door opens for you, and you hear the clockwork voice of an announcer. Uh, uh, one of the halberd people speak a little bit less uh, deep than the big, really big, you know, Myrmidon ones that were uh, at the front. Say, uh, now arriving, Sindric and Bogard. As you walk in to this humongous palace. This is cool. Never been Crystal announced chandeliers, uh, shag carpets, um, velvets, large, imposing statues, gold and silver and platinum, all sorts of things. Uh, you actually see as there is a uh, illithid, the illithid you saw earlier. Speaking with what appears to be a, uh, what's the devil higher up? Like the highest up devil. 
Arch Devil. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Arch Devil, <laughs> Baylor's. I don't think I want to look one? that up for you. <laughs> what? Uh, Are you yeah. you're talking about the high up devil? Yes. Asmodeus. Oh no no I meant the I meant type. like the type oh. of devil yeah. that's uh, high no stuff. sorry yeah. Baylor's uh, it's pit fiends. Yeah that's it? that's the thing pit fiends yeah. thank pit you fiend, yeah you see a pit fiend talking to another. Cool, I, I like and that you didn't actually. You are afraid as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, mm. it's a good thing you didn't bring Rava because it would be. I go from, oh, this is cool. We're being announced to a, what the hell is that talking to that? Uh, <clears throat> well, that's uh, just in the open. There's a grand, grand hall, uh, the foyer, basically, uh, with loads of different stairs going up and around and everything like that. Uh, it's just a big palace, basically. Uh, Do I know what those things are, actually? Yes. You know precisely what they are. But they don't know what illithids are, right? Because that's not a thing. Illithid, uh, yes. Rogue illithids do appear on, on worlds. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just thought so. they were royal people. Um, uh, you know that the illithids are from... Um, the Underdark, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the Pit Fiend is from the Hell. Nine, yeah, the Nine Hells. Yeah, I could yeah. just guess that. Um, are they the only two people in here? At the moment. Uh, but <laughs> they, they're they, the ones that's sticking out. I'm sure there's a bunch of humans, but you guys are tuning no, those no. out. <laughs> you do see a clockwork, uh, what appears to be one, another one of the halberd-looking guys, doesn't have a halberd, instead has a, um, his hands out as he walks, uh, goes over to you and says, um, who will you be seeing, sir? We need to speak with the person in charge. You wish to speak to the head Ambassador. Yes. Of which race? Oh, that we know the answer to. But I have forgotten in like the five Lang? minutes that it's been. Lang. Lang. Lang? Follower of Lang. Yes. Uh, is it a follower of Lang? Or is it the folk of Lang? The folk of Lang, yes. Uh... I suppose well. it could have said dragon. Too late. One moment, please. It just stops and stares at you. Still creepy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, what's uh, Rava's people? Do they have stories about the illithid? Brain sucking people, yes. <sighs> the They're squids safe, that Horror walk stories. on the squids that walk on land, they eat heads and things inside heads. <laughs> You're safe and if that's the case. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. They've never been a threat to Rava's people. <laughs> they just no, like, there were, oh, there no, were not Baylor is walking around too, Rava. Yep, well, he doesn't know what that what that is. That Very imposing him. looking giant red winged giant demon. winged demon. <gasps> oh, predator that flies. No. <laughs> Almost as bad as dragons. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. uh, uh, we'll, we'll go to we'll go to Gull and uh, and Rava as we're yeah. as we're the the clockwork servant is staring at the two of them. <laughs> Processing, <laughs> processing. I mean, so, I don't well, know what Rob. You are going is. to the docks, correct? Yeah, I mean, he's just Robert's paying fine. for the meeting and okay. heading you to. You go this. over to the dockmaster, and he says, "Uh, you again? What is it?" Apologies for my friends. How much for the meeting with the lane? One hundred plat. <laughs> I had to know that was going to happen. 
Oh, that 100 platinum puts it down. <laughs> May I interest you in grapes? I have many grapes. Not too too many beyond counting. There are more than this. And he shows his hand. And then he shows his other hand. Yeah, I'll take some grapes. There are so many. And he, he gives him hand, which two, hand, two handfuls. By the way, this, this is a giant. It's a sure. mountain giant. Oh, so, oh, we had one of you, but he, he, he died. And he was bigger. Oh, my God. He shakes his head. And then he puts his ha hand over the, the platinum and pushes it back as it rolls down into his other hand. And he goes, all right, <clears throat> you want me to get a meeting with the uh, leader of land? All right. Yes. Give me uh, two hours. Can we wait here? Yes, sure. Just get out of the way for the other people. He moves off to the side and says, Rava, mm -hmm. come, let's, let's play uh, chess great. Hide and seek? I'm on it. Chess grapes, not hide and seek. I can't find you. You know that. And he's gone. <laughs> and he's gone. Gods Roll be damned, down. Rafa. <laughs> this is why we want to. What are you going to do, you? Rafa? Uh, well, we're playing hide and seek, so. Yeah. So I'm well, hiding. Okay, roll stealth. Do, 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 do. Where are you going? Jeez. Oh, uh, first, <laughs> find it. <laughs> first, just uh, he, he's gonna do the Batman thing where you know he looks uh, at Rava like, and then we're gonna play. And he's like, oh, hide and seek. And then he turns away for just one second, turns back, like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> turns back and he's invisible. No, 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 not invisible. He just jump up uh, on the on the roof uh, or on the ceiling. Oh, okay. Oh, boom. <laughs> and then after it says, "You have no idea how much we deal with this." <laughs> and uh, he's out of the store, or whatever this place is. Eventually, he he will forget that he is playing, and he will explore the docks, and then he will find. Cool again later. Oh god, no, I hope he doesn't explore the flying ships that are going and taking <laughs> off. And... Oh no. Yeah, so to explain, you are next to a huge dock with marked areas where these giant spaceships come in, basically. These the spell jamming ships. I posted them on the uh the, yeah, yeah. I saw that. All of those sort of ships landing onto the ground. He will try to find someone from these ships, and he wants stories from these people. Okay. You walk up to a... Well, I want to find the most... Co the coolest ship first, and then well, he, we're going to try to speak. What you, Which what one is the coolest yeah. ship on in the list? The one... Ah, oh shit. That has to be something. Man. The Man oh. of War? The Man of War looks really cool. The Dragon Ship. It does look cool. I think it is the biggest, isn't it? Very good ship is the biggest, yes. Out of all of them. Which elven ship was it? The Man of Man War. War? Man of War is huge. Yeah, I mean, the dragon ship is very scary, though, so I would say the Man of War, because it's green, too. Yeah, leaves. Yeah, rubber likes leaves. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I might you be walk up, them. and yep. you watch as the... About ten or so elven men mm -hmm. walk out, uh, all armed to the teeth, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, they begin to walk towards the um, one of these uh, Lilo and Stitch looking guys. The lad, <laughs> you, uh, you've seen a fucking. Come on, you've seen a yeah. picture of them. They look like yeah, fucking Lilo I, and Stitch creep. I, I know what you mean. I just, I just like, to, like, you know, you know, the Lilo and Stitch guys. <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get on that boat. Okay. So ten guys move away. You don't. You don't talk to them. You just walk walk by them. Yeah, I mean, he's just gonna walk up on the okay. on the thing. Uh, you watch but, as there are a number of people unloading boxes um, or loading boxes in. Actually, I mm-hmm. should say uh, as these people are talking and exchanging gold and things. Um, there is a ramp, but there are people walking down the ramp. Sure, I mean, he's... Do you just act like you belong and walk up? Sure. He did crit a stealth. Yeah, I guess he did. So you, 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 just, you just look at them and go, hello, and walk up. <laughs> good, good day to you, sir. Yeah, and they don't mind you at all. Yeah. All right. Walking past, I'm gonna find someone on the ship, and I want to talk to him. Someone loading the, sh- uh, the crates or something. Okay. Uh, you see, as um, an older elven man, um, not with armor or anything like that, uh, looks to be wearing some fine robes, uh, eye patch on, and lots of different insignias on his sort of patchwork robes. Um, he just sort of looks at you and you walk by. You're a very so, weird ship. Like, super weird. There's no water here. That's very weird. Right. See? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. I'm Rava. I'm from the forest of Erinal. And you see, I'm on pilgrimage, and I need to find interesting stuff about the world so I can tell the people in the woods about what's happening in the world. And it seems like I should talk about ships that sail without water, because that's weird. You're and, a native. Uh, no, I'm Rava. Come sit, please. Uh, he extends his hand out to a table. And he sits down and so. Sure. Uh, he says um, to one of the men, the armored men, individuals, he says, uh, come, uh, get me some tea, will you? And he salutes and walks away. Oh, I have a cup. And he takes out it, his uh, ceramic cup from the... He didn't steal from the powerful wizard, that we, which we killed his familiar, but he has... Cup from there. <laughs> <laughs> he did steal it. Basically. No, no, no. He got grapes, so it's fine. Uh, you you basically get a sort of knowing smile, and he says, "So Rava, you're from the forest of Arano." Yes. Can you tell me how is the how are the people there treating you? Oh, they are so nice. B- besides the ones who are trying to kill me. But the other... Oh, I actually died. One of them actually succeeded. But then the other nice nice man, he, he, had, a, he had a magic stick. Did you know sticks makes people li- live again? I did not know that. But now I know that. It feels like that's one of the things that I should tell Clan about. We have a lot of sticks there. So that's pretty good. A stick brought you back to life. Hmm. Yes. Do you have sticks? You should really get sticks. They're very handy. <laughs> we, we have many sticks, yes. Oh, in, in fact, that I case... have a stick right here. Oh. It shows you what appears to be a very finely crafted wand. Oh. I, I show him uh, my piece of my stick. Oh. I also have a stick. That's broken, yes. No, 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 no. He had one and then he made two. So we both could have stick. That's a very sage thing to say. Yes. And as he says that, tea arrives. And he says, please, join. Thank you. He takes a sip. So, why, how, where you, you sail with ship? We are from the Elven Armada. Mm. We've come from a very long way away. 
We are here on a mission. Okay. Can you tell me more about your place? Where you come from? Yes. Your forest. Mm hmm Do you have elders who lead you? Oh, yeah. My uncle, Vivi, he's, uh, he's, he's like super old. And he, he actually went on a trip on the other side of the world. And there, there he found like, it was like a giant gray thing with like mammal and he could ride it. It was very weird. He brought it back. It didn't live that long, but it was very cool. What do you think about the world that you live in? Oh, it's very big. How about the people that live on it? Oh. That's a lot of weird people. A lot of lying. He agree. He, he just sort of nods and takes a swig from his uh, tea. If I told you that there were some people coming nearby that wanted to change the way of life that you had now, Mm -hmm. What would you say? Hmm. See, last time we had giant giants. Like, they were giants, but they were giant giants, you know? And they, they, they had kind of thing. And then things changed after that. But not much changes in woods. People don't really care for us, which is nice, because then people don't do a lot of fighting and things. But uh, I guess for my friends, and those, they, they care a lot about that. So I don't... I think... They want change, but I'm not sure they know what kind of change they want, if you know what I mean. I see. I, I think that's why we're traveling, to figure that out. Rather, what do you like to eat? Oh, grapes and apples. Grapes and apples. Grapes and apples. So you like to eat fruit? Yes. Big fan. I have some very nice elven fruit I think you would enjoy. If you Ooh. can... Take your message back to your friends for me. Mm -hmm. I would be able to give them to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just smiles, and he reaches down beneath the table and brings out a basket filled with these sort of weird... Uh, Poisoned apples. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same fruit that you've been munching on this entire time. <laughs> pink, pink fruit with green sort of uh, pieces on the top. And he sort of cracks one open with his hands. And you see uh, white sort of insides with black seeds. Uh, and he takes a silver spoon and scoops it out and holds it out to you. Ah. Then eats it. Like, but you gotta tell me, last time I ate weird fruit, I turned green. So, will I no, turn pink? It's just very nice fruit. Okay, good. It's, it is good fruit. I like it. Yeah, very it's, it's very uh, sweet. Sort of like guava. I, I will bring it back and we can plant it in woods. Be very good. Of course. And he pushes the basket over. And please, tell your friends to come visit me. I will. Um, so you're gonna be here? We will be here for the next day. And where is here, to be exactly? I'm a little bit <laughs> lost. Just I am playing hide-and-seek, I think, and I'm very good at it. I can tell. Just um, come for the... Uh, the Ebonheart. Ebonheart. Uh, if you ask the Dark Master, the uh, Dark Master, he'll tell you exactly where it is. Okie dokie. Uh, well, thanks for tea and fruit. I'll go try to In find. Fact, hmm? One moment, uh, and he takes out a piece of paper and writes it down, <laughs> and then he hands it to you and says. Just hand this to your friends. Mm hmm. We will go to Eden. Hmm? Yes, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I know what this says. 
he just nods and smiles. Mm-hmm. Of course, yes. <clears throat> Have uh, a good day, Rava. Please, if you would. Oh, oh, who, who are you, by the way? <laughs> it, is his name uh, Wilhelm? That, that's his name. Yes, his name is Wilhelm. <laughs> Did yes. somebody just die? <laughs> his that. name is now Wilhelm. There cool. you go. <laughs> oh, I thought his name was... <laughs> okay. Uh, you gotta write that was this like down. Perfect timing, though. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> As an arrow just goes through his heart. Like, <laughs> yeah. ah. Arrow. <laughs> Wilhelm, no! You were like a brother to me. Uh, but yeah, he, he says, Wilhelm. You had fruits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now okay. you have a basket of time. Yeah, I'm putting the things in my fruit portable hole. Very nice. Yes. And I'm going to try to find Gul again and explain to him that I won. Okay. Roll, uh, roll investigation and perception. Uh, both? Or I mean, Gul hasn't moved. He's been meditating, man. He's not hard to find. Yeah, you, uh, you, fi- you do find him after a little bit. Just mm. You get confused a little bit because you... You walk off the plank, you swear you haven't seen anything, but, yeah. Gold gets a fruit thrown in his face. I won! <laughs> he, like, he opens opens his eye, eyes and, and says, mm, What do you mean? I won. You won what? Oh, we were playing our game. Mm. Oh, Did I tell I... you? It feels like I should have told you. Anyhow, we mm. need... Oh, should I tell you? Or we should tell everyone. Let, see, I met this very nice old man. I think he was old. Anyhow, he was on the uh, boat, and he said that people want to change the world, and I thought we want to change the world, or you guys want to change the world. So we have a lot of in common, and that we should go talk to him. Hmm? Mm. I suppose. What did he say? Oh, he said um, he had fruit and there was tea and uh, and uh, there was fruit. Did he give you anything? Yes, he like picks up the fruit. Yes, gives you fruit. Seems like something else. Oh, right. He said uh, he'd give a piece of paper to here. Mm, what's this? He reads it. Your monkey is annoying. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Never come back. <laughs> uh, so the note says, uh, Hello, compatriots of Rava. Uh, please come to the Ebonheart. Uh, as soon as possible. Uh, I will... I will wait... I will do that. I will await your arrival. Signed, Wilhelm. Let's go get the others. Hmm? But, uh, yeah. He said something about people changing the world and stuff, so that sound, sounded important. Ch- what? What do you mean, changing the world? He said people will come and change the world. He gets up quite quickly and says, all right, let's go. Oh, and he was from kind of um, um, Amanda. Yes, Elven Amanda. Um, Amanda? Yes. Is that his mother? I don't know. (laughs) With a name like Wilhelm, you would imagine. (laughs) Okay, well, let's go. We need to hurry. It sounded kind of important. Hey. And... Uh, sorry, what? Oh, he said, I don't know. Hey, uh, uh, as you're leaving, those... the guy comes back, walks into the, the, the store, like the, the building, and he says, um, here's the address, and he hands it to you. The big piece of paper. Meet him Man. there. 
in five hours. Oh, we lost interest. Bye. Uh, thank you for Show your yourself. service. <laughs> he goes behind the desk. Uh, Ghoul's just like nodding his head, or not, not nodding, but like shaking his head as he walks out. Sorry. Yeah, he goes off to the direction of the palace. I, I mean, it takes, it took them 30 minutes to get there, which I kind of figured the conversation would happen. And then it'll take us 30 minutes to get there, so. I, I mean, I assume, or not assume, but, uh, but their conversation's probably going to continue. Uh, with, with which one? What? Aren't they talking to... Oh, yes, they're talking to the clockwork servant, yes. Yeah. Uh, I will be right back. I gotta get some water. I'll be back. Okay. Casey, I just finished reading what you sent me. Uh-huh. What do you think? It's good. I, I feel like it's so tragic <laughs> that what happened to the heroes is just like, this is terrible. <laughs> This is so horrible. Do they even know what happened? Who? The children. No. Oh my god. With, with the exception of possibly um, Kim's character. Because it is happened... he he's the one he's pale away Drake oh, Moses. Son, right? his son, yeah. yeah. He actually saw it happen. Yeah, that makes sense then. Um well, actually, to the extent of he was on the horse with his father. They both got knocked off the horse. He was knocked into the shadows and, and sat there and watched them beat and, and tear his father limb from limb. And then ran. Yeah. Um, Faustio Garber's child isn't a PC, right? No. Okay. That's what I thought. The only one of the heroes who is not... Uh, Representative of the group. <coughs> but yeah, I, I like it. I'll. Yes, you'll have some great news to tell every everyone in the group. <laughs> <you made it. laughs> Guys, yeah. everything is horrible. <laughs> Who wants to hear the horrible way their family died first? <laughs> yeah, yeah hey, Casey. By the way, I'm soon done with my backstory. Sorry, I started it, and then I never got around to finish it. Alright. That, uh, that vow, though, or not vow, promise. That promise, I'll have to... Uh, I like that. I That's the, that uh, the tower guards are the, uh, the Heronian paladin people, right? And the royal family. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, the king was... Yeah, that, that is the Tower Guard family. Yeah. Did he have a son when he died? He did. The king? Alright. Uh, what happened is, back. Uh, if you've read any of the piece of prose that I've started... I'll have to... I've read everything. Uh, like, I was up to date a week ago, but I haven't done much this week. Yeah, I, I've started a... Um, actually, like a short story. And, and and it involves the prince. Okay, sweet. I'll have to read through that. But Doc's back, so we can continue. Okay. So, this, uh, this thing stares at you for about a good minute. And then it finally says... Um, the... The leader of Lang would like to ask why you are going to speak to him. Because I'm Cindric, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have been asked by the old man in which your Rating post resides in his basement <laughs> to discuss the relocation of your trading post. 
oh, and by the way, your whole life is, is a lie. You're all <laughs> just an <laughs> infestation problem. <laughs> and yeah, we are basically an infestation problem in the, in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There was no other way to say that. <laughs> you are a battery. Look, look. The old man who owns the area just wants you to just leave. Just, just, yeah. just leave. So if you just take your entire reality and move it. Yeah, the, this current microverse doesn't want you, so you need to go to the mini microverse. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, another pause. A minute goes by. Uh... I, I can't wait for this talk. <laughs> Wasn't the old man under the impression that dragons were in charge or the giants were running this place? No, he gave the me last the, he gave me the impression that the last dragon and the last giant were what was keeping these people from spreading further onto our world. Oh, they were what was keeping them contained here. Was yeah. the impression I got? <laughs> This is, uh, please follow Interesting. me. Interesting. Follow the creepy robot man. Yep. It strides up as it walks up the stairs and walks up another flight of stairs and another one until it gets to a corridor, goes down to a huge set of doors, opens the doors, and you see what appears to be a large room <clears throat> uh, with a ton of couches and coffee tables and a very bulbous looking lang creature. More bulbous than earlier. Uh, sitting on a leather chair with what appears to be biscuits with the same sort of void spice sprinkled on top of it as of earlier. Interesting. And he says, please come in. <laughs> How can I help you? And the clockwork just stands aside. Well, as previously stated, we were sent here by the old man Xenophar. named Zen Xanafar. I only heard part of what you said. It's Xanafar, isn't it? Xythorn. Xythorn. That's it. Xythorn. We we know what we mean. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that, that was funny. <laughs> Go ahead. To uh, talk to you about... He said he was complaining about a noise and such, right? Uh -huh. All the racket. About <laughs> about the noise and racket being generated by this, this place. It's He doesn't it's, want it in his basement. Yes. <laughs> like to... To, to relocate guess, whatever it is that this Cind is. Cindric's opinion on this is this is all so far fetched. He believes that if he just acts like it's normal, maybe yeah. he'll start to think it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's. I'm not entirely sure what exactly this this place is, where this place is, or or how this place is in this man's basement. But um, you're done. I, I walked thing. through the door, and and yeah. So, this is a noise complaint. What are your thoughts <laughs> on the matter? <laughs> You're being evicted. <laughs> oh, he just sort of gross. looks at you and eats eats another biscuit. Right. I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. This place. How did uh, um, you are being there's... evicted and have twenty four hours to depart this location? Oh boy, I believe that's what we are here to come. I mean, I guess. Are you the person that runs this whole city dock 
place. I'm the ambassador of the folk of Lang. To where? You're the ambassador to where? Like, what do you consider this place? The House of Lang. Well, well no. You're, you're the House of Lang's ambassador to... Lang. This is Lang? This is not Lang. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm confused out of character now. I don't understand. I get that he's the ambassador of Lang, but he's the ambassador of Lang to where? To the House Lang. of Lang. Yeah. What? Uh, I'm I don't understand what's happening anymore. Th this is like the. This is. <laughs> who's on first? Who's on second? Yeah, who's exactly? Who's on first? Who's on second? <laughs> I don't know who's on third. I don't know. Well, you gotta know. Well, yeah, I know. No, I know. He's on the far field. Who's on first? Yes. What? No, he's far. He's a hitter. Okay, so, um, yeah, Bogart just looks kind of confused and, and, uh, hmm. What sphere are we in? Island. Okay. What world? Surya. And what's the name of this? I guess we could call it city dock thing that we're in right now. House of Lang. Okay. So you run the House of Lang. No. Ooh. Ooh. No, this is good. This is good. <laughs> this is good. I, I'm starting to, starting to make sense in my brain. Good for who you. Is in for charge, who is in charge of the House of Lang? No, I am in charge of the House of Lang. <laughs> no, quiet. Who is in charge? No one. No one is in charge of the House of... Alright, I'm back to confused. That's um, my cousin. No one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's no the, that's the person's name. No one. Yeah. Can we? Is he really talking about like no one is in charge or no one is a person? You don't know. Intelligence. God. Is is no one a person or do you mean there is no one in charge? No, there there is no one. Okay. Um. So. Who controls all of the clockwork stuff that maintains order? All of us. All of us. How many of us are in the all? Uh, many. Many. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must all depart then. Uh, yes. How was this place established? Uh, the... The Lang came here. My predecessor. Uh huh. And established the House of Lang. The the owner of the house above does not wish you here any longer. And and he has so. decreed that you must depart. No thank you. <laughs> Good talking to you. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun. Um, do you know anything about dragons or giants? There are dragons and there are giants, yes. I have okay. done a great deal of trading with both of them. Oh, can you tell us where we could find any... Are there any dragons uh, here in the House of Lang? Now? Yes, but they do not like to show themselves. Ah, is it possible to arrange a meeting with them, being that we have um, Cendric here? Why? Excellent question. I'm hoping that they can uh, help provide a... Mm, a peaceful resolution to the current conflict that seems to have arisen with the owner of the home. 
<clears throat> I don't understand. So, this place. Like, how did you get here? I came on my ship. Okay. I did not come on a ship. I walked through a door yes. from Syria to here. <laughs> The person who <laughs> owns the property on the other side of of the door, and thus, thus all of all of this because it's it's connected and and property, he has a problem with what is happening here, and would like to find a resolution that is beneficial to both parties, or at least and, to him. And seeing as how the the last dragon and the last giant were were the ones that that establish and set up this place and help control it, it would be beneficial to speak to a dragon <coughs> about this matter. Your, your gods did not do that. The House of Lang did. Hmm. Um... So you guys made the door in the guy's basement? No. So you didn't do that? No. But you just said you did. I said <laughs> that the folk of Lang made the house of Lang. But you made it in someone else's house. He died? Yes. Uh... And they decide to believe. Me too. Well, that is, that's why we would like to talk to a dragon. It might help us get to the bottom of you what... You wish to talk to the dragon ambassador? Yes. Then why did you speak to me? I did not <laughs> know that there was a dragon ambassador. Oh, this is great. Until you brought it up. I did not know that there was a dragon ambassador at all. How excited on a scale of 1 to 10 is Syndric about meeting a dragon? Hmm. I mean... That's, yeah, that's my answer. And what do I get for making this meeting? What would we, you like? We will no longer waste your time. True. I could also kick you out. You could. Uh, what? What appeals to you? Weapons. Weapons. Hmm. I pull out the. Uh, which one am I not going to use? Which which one looks prettier? The plus one Reaving Great Axe, the Javelin of Lightning, or the Vorpal Longsword? Which one has more aesthetic appeal? The Vorpal ah. Longsword. Okay, I had already decided I wasn't going to use it anyway. Uh, I pull the Vorpal Longsword out. Kill him. I, I don't unsheath it or anything, but, you okay. know. Oh, let us see. He reaches out his stubby little arms. Tons of bread crumbs all over his nice cloak. What kind of race is this guy? A lang. A lang? Lilo and Stitch, Lilo Stench, man. They're, they're, they're the other half of halflings. Yeah, exactly. C could someone send these me a, the a picture? You, you, all, you always confused. hear about halflings. Well, these are the lings. <laughs> Ugly fuck. Yeah. So you put that with human and you get a halfling. Oh, who would do that? Oh, that's some desperate person. Like, oh, 
I believe this will uh, more than cover the arranging <laughs> of the meeting and the use of your time. <sighs> That's why Halflings haven't taken over the world yet. Yeah. It's nasty. I don't know. They might have taken over this one. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm back. What's going on? Oh, well, I said that I, yeah, I, I said I hope this should, this should be more than enough to, uh, to cover the arranging of the meeting and what time we have taken up of yours. Agreed. He grabs it, puts it away in his cloak, which vanishes. And, and to be fair, nobody said that they wanted it. What's that? The Vorpal Longsword. Yeah, oh, you no, gave I away a legendary, a legendary magic item. I mean, hey, it cursed me. So, screw the sword. I wasn't going to use it again after that fight. Hmm. Uh, he says, I will erase it. <laughs> Uh, and he leaves, yeah. He gets up, walks away. I mean, <laughs> honestly, as far as Bogart is concerned, that is a cursed sword. It really is. What are you guys going to do? Uh, we're going to wait for him. We're waiting for the dragon. Okay. So you wait about... 10, 15 minutes, and you watch as a large, imposing looking dragonborn esque creature walks in with full plate on. Uh, fully scaled in copper scales. Actually, hold on. Is copper the one? I'm thinking of. Let's see. As long as it's not black. Racist fuck. Hey, Doc made this character a racist, okay? <laughs> That's true. I'm, I'm not racist, I'm just specious. <laughs> hey, yes. it looks surprisingly... Copper is the one I want. Yes. I love Why? Copper. Which one is it? Copper. Copper dragon. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, it walks in. 